So let's check out this new easy to use BitTorrent client that is built for the known desktop on your Linux operating system. Let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanted to show you a piece of software that I ran across that's super cool. It's a BitTorrent client. And if you guys don't know what BitTorrent is or BitTorrent is, it's basically a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing protocol used to distribute uh, large amounts of data. And basically the client is a software application that implements the BitTorrent protocol. And there are a bunch of them out there. Like for instance, I typically use Transmission, but I've seen people use uh, uTorrent, QBitTorrent. Uh, I think it's another one called Views. But these clients allow the user to download and share files using the BitTorrent protocol. And mainly what I use it for is when I'm downloading all these different ISOs uh, for all these different distributions that I use. Uh, typically, they have a BitTorrent link. You can use that link and that'll allow you to download the ISO using a BitTorrent client. And I ran across this one called Fragments and I haven't seen many people talk about it. And I checked it out for myself and it looks super cool. It's easy to use. Um, just like all of them, they're all pretty much easy to use, but this one, you know, seemed easier and it looks super cool in known desktop. So let's hop over to my Ubuntu install and get fragment installed right fast. Okay. So before I get to the virtual machine, I wanted to show you guys the website. It's basically on apps.gnome.org. Uh, and like I said, it's a, it's a gnome app and so i'll install it on ubuntu but this is basically the information on it but it basically states fragments is a easy to use uh, bittorrent client it can be used to transfer files via bittorrent protocols such as videos music installation images for linux distributions which is mainly what i use it for you know getting those linux distributions but here's a little bit more information about the app there is a flat pack it looks like um you could donate to the project it's a open source project you know and here are some screenshots of it and like i said it's super easy uh for anyone that you know has ever used a BitTorrent client you know it's super easy now let's hop over to the virtual machine and i can go through and install it and show you guys how to use it right fast all right cool so this is ubuntu 22.04 and let's just open up the terminal right fast so i can show you guys that it is uh, Ubuntu 22.04. So let's type um, NeoFetch. I know that's installed on here. But yeah, Ubuntu 22.04. It has the known desktop known to 42.5. And let me go down and show you guys how to get it installed um, right fast. So it's two different ways to install it, just like any other application on here. You could do the GUI version or the command line version. So let's search for the actual uh, name of the application. So fragments and it should come up right there so let's go and click on it and this is the easiest way to install it so if you're new to the linux then you may want to just install it this way but all you have to do is click install that's the snap store i believe i believe this is snap package right here uh let's make sure let's go down here it's confined so yeah it is a snap package it says confined um so you can install the snap package this way and if we scroll down here, you know, it has some reviews and everything. Just so you guys know, uh, it has 3.7 uh, views. A lot of people are saying it's super beautiful or perfectly polished, which I pretty much agree with it once I got it installed. So you can install it from here, like I stated. And then also you should be able to install it from the command line. All you have to do is type sudo snap install and then find a package name, so fragment. And there we go, so we can install it this way. I'm gonna install it this way, but like I said, all you had to do is click that, um, you know, the install button on there. That's why, I, I don't know, a lot of times I like to just uh, install things from the command line because it's super simple for me because I already know the commands and everything. Um, but, you know, if you need help or whatever, you can install it from here and that'll get it installed as well, so. Let's wait for this to finish and I'll be right back. 
all right so the install is complete uh you can go down and exit out of your terminal but let's go down and open up fragments right fast and we can go through and find it we can search for it but uh i'm sure it's you know right in there somewhere there we go all right cool so it'll automatically adjust to the theme you know that you have right now i have kind of like a dark theme so it's already you know there but you got like a little menu right here you know what i'm saying uh click a magnet link on a website or copy a magnet link to the clipboard or copy the torrent file or copy the torrent file you hit this plus as well that'll allow you to find those torrent files as well if you have them on your system now i already have a website open this is manjaro uh let's go down and download it right fast um so i'm gonna do x86 uh 64 and then uh if you guys never downloaded a linux distribution or manjaro or whatever uh, in order to get to the links you hit uh download right here and this will pull up the different links for you and different options like if you want to get a minimal desktop environment or the full desktop environment but you also had other options to download it from like the torrent and you probably seen this she probably never you know looked at it or whatever but you could just click here this will download that torrent file and as you can see it'll well depending on your browser it'll, it most likely will download to your downloads directory so once you got the download file or the torrent file that's essentially what that's called uh, we can minimize this go back here and then we can click choose a uh, torrent file let's go up in here and open go to downloads boom and it'll automatically store download so and one cool thing about it when you got multiple ones op open or running at the same time you know it's super cool to see that but you'll see when they finish uh and, and i mainly want to do this so you guys can see you know um multiple files running at the same time so i'm gonna wait for this one to get a little closer to finishing because i want to show you that it's going to go to a different category you don't create the categories as you uh add torrents or as torrents finish it'll put it in a different category as finished or something and or seeding uh because what you're doing is sharing and downloading at the same time um and this is a peer-to-peer -peer, so it's a bunch of people out there sharing this file they they either have it downloaded or they're downloading it as well and they're sharing it out like right now i'm sharing out the file as well to anybody that needs it and so that's what it means by peer-to-peer -peer is it's coming from we're all sharing the file at one particular time when you're connected to the torrent file okay let's go down and add this other one right fast because we're close uh so let's go to downloads directory again i think it's the xfce that i downloaded so yeah as you can see this one is queued now let's go over here um it may have some preferences and like i said i haven't looked through this thing yet all the way um but as you can see there's some notifications torrents completed downloaded uh remote access you can allow devices to remote to it download uh, this is the information about the directory uh, you can store those incomplete torrents in that directory download queue and then networking this is another important uh, spot so if you click on networking you change up your ports random ports you know port forwarding you can test your connection uh, maximum peers you can change up the peers encryption you can set it to prefer but let's go down and close this because I want to show you guys uh, they probably still are going yeah so once this one finishes it'll drop down to a different category you know what I'm saying and it, it'll show as it's finished uh, so it's almost finished now I'll be back when it finishes all right now one other thing I want to show you guys if you go you can right click on the actual torrent file and I'm not sure why it's just sitting there like that uh, but you can go into the properties of that actual file it'll show you the information about that file you can pause it you know more information right there uh, you can copy the magnet link if you want to you know X tracker for peers if you guys have never heard of that um, then that's that's essentially what that is um, it's asking people to share out the link essentially and it's also still saying it's download I'm not sure why it's still saying it's downloading uh, that's super weird right there but yeah you can remove it uh, then they have some more options right here 
uh, you can copy those links as well. Ask trackers for C's. Uh, set the location. All right, there we go. So it finally finished. I'm not sure why it was just sitting there like that. So this is the seeding state. And so right now we're seeding out this file to anyone else that needs it. So there are people out there downloading. And that's what makes torrents pretty fast because you're getting it from multiple locations. Um, so you can have like four or five people out there that's seeding the file and you downloading it from them so you can get different bits and pieces of it you know and that's essentially why they came up with the name for it in my opinion it's called fragments you get fragments of the files from a whole bunch of peers now that's pretty much it that's all i want to show you guys on this um super simple application and like i said you know uh this this is an interesting peer um uh, peer-to-peer uh bittorrent client uh definitely check it out uh it's not it's not that difficult to install so definitely check it out now i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and also let me know what application you use for BitTorrents, like downloading isos and all that stuff tell me which one you actually use i definitely would love to hear but i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie